Now, there will be no fighting between Mozambique's uh, rebel Renamo soldiers and the government Frelimo in uh, the country during this festive season. This comes as the enmity between the Frelimo and Renamo dates back more than two decades. And last Friday, Renamo declined to have a new team of mediators led by former Mozambican President Joachim Chisano. Now, groups in Mozambique have also previously demanded that talks should be inclusive of other third parties in the country and not restricted to the two actors in seeking a decentralized form of governance. In recent months, 15,000 civilians have fled fighting between the army and that of the Renamo guerrillas, the opposition party, according to the UNHCR. Once a paradise for investors, after this, the discovery of vast fields of gas in 2010, they now shun the country, where our corruption scandals have caused a serious crisis economic. Well, Mozambique has uh, recently discovered rich uh, gas deposits and is poised to be one of the powerful economies in Africa right now but joining us to give us more insight into this story is Ophio Lisboa. He's in uh, Maputo and he joins us with an outlook of this situation in the country. Good morning uh, Lisboa. The move to sign uh, or rather the move uh, to sign the talks and negotiations they have taken a turn for a better uh, Mozambique in these coming days. Now will fighting resume after this? Not really. It's just a demonstration of Renamo, the main opposition part, though its leader, Afonso Dlacama, who intends to force with uh, this one-week ceasefire to show the international community that is interested in resolving the armed conflict. Do not uh, believe that after the new year, the clashes will continue. They may, however result in more government troops moving during the ceasefire and also by Renamo an attempt to escape the offenses of government troops. But I have also to say that uh, uh, Mr. Giacama, the uh, Renamo leader, said uh, if uh, uh, there was no incident on the part of the defense forces, um, the ceasefire, which lasts until... 4th January could be extended. So far, we can't uh, surely say that uh, that ceasefire show that the negotiations are going to to take uh, a new uh, way. Now, a few uh, the there are casualties of this fighting that has been going on between Renamo and Frelimo, and seven days you can say is a short time. But how have they received these uh, latest developments? It's not uh, the first time an agreement between the government and Renama has been reached. Three years ago, there was a cessation of hostilities, agreement that was later violated. It's also true that uh, at the moment that people are taking advantage of this uh, one-week agreement, so now the question for them is, why just uh, uh, one week? Uh, why not? Forever, because by this time, all of them, the population, I mean, they believe that it's possible for the two leaders to reach an agreement. Now, there are, lastly, there are 10 provinces in uh, Mozambique, uh, and majorly they are all depending on the central government. But Renamo is claiming they want to control six. Why are they claiming, or rather, why are they putting forward this claim? Renamo claims to have won the last uh, general elections in September 2014 in six provinces of Mozambique, and that's why it wants to govern. On the basis of the Rome General Peace Agreement, which had not been repealed, it provided that Renamo could nominate governors to the region with uh, the largest number of supporters and win the election. It's the main problem so far, even uh, difficult for the government to accept. Well, that was Ophiu Lisboa, our correspondent. Thank you very much, uh, Ophiu, joining us from Maputo in Mozambique.